What's going on, YouTube, man? It's your boy on point the grind. You know what I'm saying? This is part two for mixed and light skinned women do look better. And this is also a video response to that video. You are pretty for a dark skinned girl. Uh, basically, um, you know, like, like I was saying, you know, I think, you know, you could at least gave solutions. Because when you just don't, a lot of times you are very sarcastic in your videos. And that's cool, but I'm just speaking on this concept right now. You could at least gave solutions to kind of make these dark skinned, darker women feel like there's hope. And try to explain to them how they can get out of the situation. I believe you could have at least did that. You know, um, I mean, like I said, man, this whole, <laughs> this whole complexion in the black community is a very touchy topic. It's a very touchy situation. You know what I'm saying? For you dark-skinned girls, I want to tell y'all, man, I understand how y'all feel. You know, hearing names like Tar Baby call them stuff like oil, you black burnt biscuit, you African booty scratch, you ape and shit like that. I remember it all too well. I remember when I was younger, I used to always hear people, you know, not even just the darker skinned women, the people that's a darker complexion in general, you know, getting bashed and, but see, but see, it's, it's okay, it's okay for us as men to be dark, but it's not okay for a female to be dark because it's looked as masculine, they looked at to have high uh, potosterone, whatever you want to call it, and anything dark Anything that looks too broad and masculine on a female is because it gets pushed to the side. It gets put at the bottom of the barrel. You know, so it, it, it gets pushed at the bottom of the barrel and all that type of stuff. And that's why a lot of these problems happen. And I think that's fucked up. And a lot of you women that are suffering through that, y'all got to have confidence within yourselves and not let this stuff get down to y'all. You know, y'all got to understand that y'all, I mean, I understand you guys are finding it hard not to be able to find the man you want. Because majority of black men that's different shades is going after a lot of skin women. I understand it's a problem, but you guys got to have that confidence within yourselves and feel good. Because the more y'all feel so down and envy, the more you guys are proving the media right, especially the white media. You know, they did surveys on this shit. I didn't told you about that survey about when they took all those little kids and put them pictures of these little stick figures of different shades. And they asked them which one's the evil child, which one's the ugly child, which one's the bad child, which one's the, the nice looking child. And most of the people that they asked that were little dark skinned girls. They were, they, they were like little dark skinned girls. You feel me? Like little dark skinned girls. Those were the ones that they asked about that. And I think that's a problem. That's an issue. So like I, like I said, the more y'all keep on feeding into this stuff, the more you, the more you proving people right, especially the racists and the media that tries to put this shit out there. And the more you proving lighter skinned women right, there's a lot of light skinned women that stuck up, you know? And that's gonna boost their confidence up even more to make y'all feel even more miserable. It's people that feed off of stuff like this, which is very sick. Some people feed off of people's misery. The more you show misery, the more you show hurt and upset. People feed off of that. As sick as that is, that's the truth. People actually do feed off of shit like that. Um, This is something that's been going on for years. You know, we've seen movies like, it, as far as looks and being desired, it's a lot harder for, it's much, much harder for a dark-skinned female to get by and be looked at than it is for a dark-skinned male. Dark-skinned females, it's, it's, it's hard. Brown-skinned females may not suffer it as much, but they understand that most men like red bones. But I guess brown-skinned women get more of a pass. You know what I'm saying? But, um... You know, as far as these dark-skinned females, it's hard. You know, we see movies like Color Purple. You know what I'm saying? Now, the dude was like, you're black, you're ugly. You know, I seen a video, um, and this is really fucked up. You know, they had these they had these young kids, right? They did an interview. They showed a picture of this, what it appeared to be a girl. She was light-skinned, and she had long hair. And they showed a picture of a dark-skinned girl who had short hair, like a lek -wek. You know, she had short hair. Her hair was short like mine. She was dark-skinned. Now, I remind you, I'm repeat this in. They had a dark-skinned girl who had short hair like mine and had a light-skinned girl who appeared to be a girl. She was light-skinned. She had long hair. Dude asked him a question. He said, you know, which one is better? And um, they pointed to the light-skinned girl. They said, why not tag the dark-skinned girl? He said, well, she black. She ugly. You know what I'm saying? Her hair is short. And he said, I'm going to tell your brothers a question. He said, that, 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 that thing that y'all pointed at right there, that's, that's, a, that's a man. He got, a, he got an operation. And that just fucked my mind up. 
it's like, God damn, are, are we that crazy over this whole, you know, are we, are, are, as, as us as black men that crazy over a lot of complexion? That, that's, that's sickening. I find that very sick. I was disgusted with that, just like I was disgusted with that survey they was doing. They were interviewing all them little young black girls, asking them which shades was more evil, ugly, good. I was disgusted with that. I was disgusted with um. I was disgusted with um the video with those dark skinned girls venting on their past history, how they were being bashed, and how they didn't like their complexion, and how they were being leased. I was disgusted by all that shit. And I was disgusted with some other videos too, but I ain't gonna really speak on that. It deals with the black, but I ain't gonna really speak on that because I'm getting on topic. But I'm just really disgusted with a lot of things. I think there needs to be more people to come out and give solutions for these darker skinned girls, but nobody really cares. Nobody really cares. You don't see too many rappers that speak on this stuff. You don't see nothing. And the reason why that's the case is because most of these rappers in the industry glorify and cherish these lighter skinned women. We need more people like me to get up and speak up on this topic to address this shit. We really do. I mean, it's, it's just no way around it. Um, You know, it's a, it's, it's a sad thing. Like, it's, it's, it's really a sad thing personally, but I don't know, man. I'm fascinated with dark skin and, and brown skin. That's just me. Light skinned women are beautiful, you know what I'm saying? They pretty, but it's just not my top priority, man. It's stuff in I find something more fascinating with dark like I said, it's just not my top priority no more. You know, y'all 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 dark skinned girls, man. I don't know. It'll be very hard because you guys don't have enough support. Nobody wants to speak on this shit. And like I said, you know, if I was, you know, you, Tommy Sotomayor, I hope I haven't been getting off topic. But I just think you could have at least, um, I think you should start, I ain't going to speak on everything else you said, but I think you should really at least start giving solutions to these to these women about how to overpass this. And the reason why I say you is because you've been, you've become a very big figure speaking on black issues. And if you're going to be a very big figure speaking on black issues, at least get to the positive part about it. I understand you are sarcastic in a lot of your videos because you're trying to prove a message and make a point, which are which is a good method, which is a good strategy. You are sarcastic with these videos to where they think that you're bashing them, but you're actually putting a hidden message. But I think you literally need to come out and speak on ways how they, how darker skinned women could get through this. I, I really think that needs to be done because nobody's stepping up, nobody's doing it because nobody really cares. You know, most of these lighter skinned girls that are getting all the attention, they don't really care, or they don't really care. That these dark skinned girls are feeling upset and hurt. They don't really care. Because the way they feel, it's all about them and they get to show. Not all of light skinned girls, but I think a lot of them are like that. They don't really care. As far as they're concerned, dark is ugly on the black female. They don't really care. They're getting their money, they're getting their shine. All camera lights is on them. These other brothers that's pursuing these red bones, they don't care. As long as they can keep on seeing these red bones and these mixed breeds. Nobody cares. White media don't necessarily care. Only thing some of them do is just bring the attention to the world and, and, and do these little surveys to prove a point. Because they, they, they people feed off of stuff like that. You know? Just like how that people feed off of when that dude did that survey saying that a black woman is the least um desired. You know, it, 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 nobody cares, man. That that's that's why this is not I think it's there's not enough light being shed on this topic. So I think black people more than any anybody needs to be talking about this shit. We already did the whole complexion. They already did the whole complexion, um, complexion controversy in hip hop. This this woman, she did a vid she did a documentary speaking on how lighter skinned women are being cherished in these videos, and they interviewed a few people to speak on these topics. Uh, I think it was called a, a complexion obsession in hip hop. And one thing I noticed when I watched that, they was talking about showing different music videos of all these light skinned girls being cherished and dark skinned girls saying, you know, they really don't be one and half of us to come to these video shoots. They had different rappers talk about it. You know, I noticed throughout that whole video, nobody came to a conclusion. They interviewed Rick Ross and asked him, like, you know, you know, we noticed that most of these girls are, um, most of these lighter skinned women are being cherished into this shit and, and being thrown in these videos. Rick Ross is like, and that's a problem? You know, no, nobody cares. No, no, nobody understands. Cassidy spoke on the shit. He, he, he didn't seem to really be able to break it down. Nobody understands, and it seems like nobody cares, man. But like I say, man, you know, I'm done. I hope I didn't really get off topic, but I wanted... These are video response to Tommy Sotomayor. But 
two of his videos but i wanted to put this message out to other people and i just hope everybody can pretty much get the message but one thing i'm not bad like tommy sotomar i'm not bashing you for um saying that you thought makes it light skin women look better you can't argue with another man's preference i just want a lot of brothers like you to understand how this affects things how it just reflects on us and makes us look bad you know what i'm saying and that's, that's that's all i gotta say man if you choose to make a video response i don't even know if this will get to you or not or if you even will pay attention to this video if you choose to make a video response whether it's good or bad or hey i'm gonna respond to you whatever it's your boy on point on the grind signing out man i hope i made a point and came to some conclusions and gave y'all some help peace